Okay, I'm sorry, sorry we, we have a confusion today. This was del daylight savings time. I totally forget about it. Yeah, what, what is daylight savings time in Russia? Uh, in it, it was cancelled. We, we used to have it before, but for last, I believe for already like 10 years, we have cancelled it. During Medvedev's Mid Mid time, it was cancelled. We have no, no, no switch nowadays. Right. And what was its name? Uh, the name of, of what? Of daylight savings time, because I tried to explain it to Daria and, and she was uh, confused. Uh, I don't daylight know. Sa yeah, daylight savings time. Yeah, it, I'm means, just... it means that you save daylight. Uh, I'm for just oh, 14 exactly. years old. 14, yeah. Yeah, you, and, you may not remember. Yeah. Right, but right. We, so you were maybe four years old when they yeah. stopped doing it. Yeah. <laughs> we, we used to have it for, I think, maybe like 30 years since Soviet, since late Soviet times, I think. And all 90s and um, uh, Mr. Medvedev was a man who canceled it. Because they, they, it was always the debates about uh is it is it actually healthy or not to, to use this daily saving time because uh it has some positive effect for uh positive economical uh, economical effects positive uh even, even sometimes health effect because if you get get up with with the sun it is more natural but also this switch produces so so, so many uh discomfort for especially for non-healthy people. So I now think that it may be not, not so bad decision after all to cancel it. Uh, but I'm not a specialist really in that. No, no, in, in the debate, we have the same debate in America all the time. There's There are a lot of people who want to get rid of it and some people who want to keep it. To... Yeah. Hey, Andy, so Daria, how old is your sister? Ah, oh, she's so uh, four. Okay. Andy. Oh. Andy, come here. You can meet someone who's your age who lives in Russia. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Don't be too shy, baby. Big girl. Belina is shy too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turn around. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Can okay, she so Andal can she see Andalyn? Yeah. this is this. <laughs> She's just very shy. I don't know. Yeah. Very normal at that age. So so Andy, <laughs> this person here, this is Dima, and this person is Daria. And Daria and Dima, they both live in Russia. Do you remember um, when you looked at it? There's another one. Hello. Say hello. Hello. How are you? And they live all the way in Russia. Do you remember when we looked at a map and you saw where Paris, France is? Oh, remember, what? Do you remember Paris? You know Paris. Paris. Yeah. Paris. And then you said you want to go to Japan. It's like kind of in between Paris and Japan is Russia. It's a very big country. Very big. Yeah. With a lot of very good people. And they speak a different language. You know, that speak a different language too, don't you? Yep. And Olive speaks, she's, she speaks a little Spanish, doesn't she? That's another language. So Dima and Daria and your dad and a few other kids, we all get together and we talk about, we talk about satellites 
and and make sure that we keep good connections with our friends in Russia. That's what this is all about. So thank you for sitting here and saying hi. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? <laughs> Larry, and, and are you going to, to show show us something about uh, about satellite images you you looked for? Um, I've sent you a presentation because I'm late with it, and just ah uh, when uh, in um, email. Uh -huh. okay. It's about two cities and. Um, we did projects and I just late with it and I sent it to my group and to, to you. Unfortunately, I, I do not see it. Actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe okay. I can show it. Yeah, you, better you could show, you could share your screen and show us. Yeah, one second. Or could later on send it to, to, you could try to send it to my personal email also. I will type it here, if you wish. Okay. Uh, did you see? Yeah, I see it. Okay, one second. Boy, tears. <laughs> There's also my email sent it directly here. Oh, I see. Okay. Um. Is this your presentation then, Daria? Great. Um, and how? F five. Just press F five if you would like to show it full screen. Um, one quick question. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, Daria. Um. Is is Masha and the bear? Um, is that a is that a real Russian cartoon? Yeah, you it know? is. You know that one? Yeah, uh, it's. Uh, I think it is surprisingly popular outside Russia. I have seen it in many countries. Like, <laughs> yeah, my my daughter loves it. <laughs> really. <laughs> It's it's very unique the way that uh, that Masha inter interacts with the bear. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's but that, that's a, that's a good movie for mainly for kids, but it's a really good one and surprisingly yeah. surprisingly popular outside church, I would say. Yeah, yeah, good. I, I just was curious if it was because sometimes we get things and and you don't know maybe they're not actually that popular in Russia, you know, but. So. No, it is also popular here, but along with many other movies, yeah, animations. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. All right, sorry. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I think I can show it like this. No, I can't. It's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Like this. Mm -hmm. uh, mm, this presentation about two cities, Singapore and. Okay, sorry, one second. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, Daria, don't don't worry about the interruptions with the sister. That is totally fine. This is your meeting. It with, it's all good. Okay. Don't, don't um, about it. I, uh, um. This presentation about this city, and I just will talk, not read. I will explain what is it. Uh, Great. <laughs> animation, animation movies are going on. But <laughs> that's a news of great news. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this city is uh, grow up really quickly and um, it's very interesting why and how it's going on. And um, uh, Singapore, it's a um, city in islands. 
and um, the um, population um, is really quickly grow up and mm-hmm. the city needs to um, expand 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 um And uh, Jakarta, um, this I think this situation is really like to Singapore, and um, but these cities are having really good uh, technology and the economic is really good because they need to have work and uh, um, a lot of things for people who live there. Okay, and it's uh, the map. Okay, about Jakarta, I have, I have. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, what uh, did you want to say? Oh. Doesn't matter. I will call later. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Um, this is a map and uh, okay, there was a lot of pink uh, in twenty two or in twenty twenty. Twenty twenty, yeah. And oh okay. This um Earlier, it was a lot of uh, trees or, or a lot of forests, and um, just you can see how it's grow up. It's um, have something in islands near the town, and uh, really, they had a lot of. They had port for um, harbor. You mean? Or port, port is not 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 uh, exactly not exactly okay. the same. Uh, Sam, uh, could, you, could we say port about the harbor? Actually, yeah. So so um, so yeah. It, they actually they do kind of interchange port and harbor. Um, port is also Russian word for harbor. Is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's they're they're so similar. I mean, the the, the city is a port city, meaning that it might have many harbors that you can stay in. Harbor is more like the the physical thing and port is more of the description of like this is a- entr- Entrance to something. Yes. Basically. Yeah. This is also in computer, we also have ports where we plug different, different wires, for example. Yeah. It's also port like and entrance to something. Yep. Yeah. So port yeah, is like the port is the broad description, the big description, and harbor is each of the places where you might dock a boat. You know, those are harbors. So, yeah. so sorry for this language. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> poor Daria. <laughs> You're doing great, Daria, by the way. Okay. And uh, I did. Uh, I did the same with the Jakarta, oh. and this town. Oh yeah, grow up uh, too. Um, the green is forests, and uh, there is a lot of pink, and it's um, just uh, Jakarta. It's uh, this town. Yeah, I have been there, by the way. In Jakarta. And and what country is Jakarta in? One country? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Indonesia. That's a capital. Yeah. Indonesia. Indonesia. Okay. And and Singapore? <laughs> Do you remember that? No. I know it's it's tough. That's uh, Singapore is a, like a 
city and the state at the, at the same time. So right. it's like a small independent state. Oh, okay. Can I stop uh, demonstration? Sure. Okay. So you could you could find uh, this. Yeah. Thank yeah. thank you for that. So and yeah. uh, really but, good. Uh, yeah. And I what I uh, was going to tell that I heard uh, about Jakarta that they also have another problem. They uh, Jakarta is located on a very low land area just next to the sea, and there's a threat of flooding. So we are going to move now part of the city somehow. <laughs> not not move, but relocate people from... Uh, yeah, from the sea. Like they just need to um, move uh, people um, for from... the sea, and because it's like they had a lot of death. Because a it's really dead. It's, it's really dangerous. Mm -hmm. So I what I understood we have some ambitious plan to somehow a little bit move part of the city. But of course, it may be more logical to build the dams. But right. I understood we have some 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 crazy plans to move even some some population. And and this is because of sea level rise or or I understood yes yes because of and sea level rise or, or maybe just because of uh, they decided that a big city and the capital somehow is not adopted to to this um storms and waves and threats of flooding which is increasing with the sea level rising yeah so so I mean, you probably know this too, Dima, but um, New York City, Manhattan, um, has huge water pumps pumping water because it's it's going to be very much at risk of, of uh, flooding when when the sea level rises as well. There, uh -huh. I don't know. Uh -huh. Really, New York has uh, can have flooding. Yes, of New York. They, they could. It is yeah, not, it, it is low low elevation. Elevation it means location and uh, yeah. relief. Elevation. Yeah, much of our our big cities in Florida too, Miami and and places like that. They they when you build right on the ocean and then the ocean starts to come up. Now these big cities are are losing their their ocean. Do, do you know? Do you know? Also, Saint Petersburg had a big threat of flooding before uh, yes, and historically and they, they even constructed a huge dam uh across the finnish gulf in baltic mm. sea to okay protect, to protect the city and uh, saint petersburg has a lot of swamp and it's really a uh, town swamp. with a lot of what swamp you mean yeah uh, swamp yeah swamp. yeah it's, it's, a, it's I'm, a... I'm just i'm just afraid but Sam could not understand some words. Yeah, no, I understood. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's spelled swamp, but it's pronounced swamp. Yep. Swamp. But I understood. Yeah. So Saint Saint Petersburg is is also low low level like that. Yes, very. Yeah. It is it is the delta of a river coming sure. to the Baltic Sea, and it is extremely boggy and lowland area. It was okay. historically even even in nineteenth century it had a huge flooding killing many killed killing many people. Yeah, and historically, if I remember right, um, Peter the Thirst made this town. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> who, who did? Peter the Great. Peter the Great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Peter, yeah. Well, St. Petersburg. There you go. Yeah, of course, St. Petersburg. Yeah. 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 You know what it, it was called Leningrad at Soviet times. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you know that. <laughs> yeah, Leningrad, and then there was Stalingrad, and yeah. <laughs> yeah, people in our the, Constantinople, now it's Istanbul. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They change names, don't they? Yeah, so and for St. Petersburg, flooding is also a very well-known problem. I would say used to be, because as they constructed the dam, it was 
started in Soviet times with construction, it was continued for decades, but finally it is finished and it is now protection against flooding because they had uh, flooding just because of wind. If a wind is towards, uh, towards the city from the sea, it could uh, move water. Oh, yes, I lived in Kaliningrad. Yeah, yeah, I lived in Kaliningrad and we have um, a lot of um, flood. It's not flood, dangerous floods. It's just like uh, storm, storms. And yeah. They it's really, my grandparents lived near the sea and they said that it's really scary because uh, last two times it was too strong. Really. Yeah, Kaliningrad is also located in a, in a very similar situation as St. Petersburg. Maybe the river uh, coming to the sea is smaller than in St. Petersburg. Pregola, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and so that's, uh, but it's it's the same, the same sea and also low 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 cost and river coming and so that's wind uh, from the sea to the coast could somehow stop the water and produce some raising level. Yeah. So if the if the wind is blowing in the same direction for a long time, it you know the waves the the waves get bigger, obviously, but it also pushes the whole, yeah. the, the yeah. water comes up. They they call that um, storm surge or heish, I think. Heish is heish. a German word. But yeah, it's, it's when you get, you might get a storm over here um, and, and it pushes the water down and then it rises in another place. Um, it's like a little tsunami. It's it's like um, not it's exactly, like, but but similar. Yeah, it, it's, it's different. Yeah, it's a little like um, tide tidal movement almost. So on on tidal you know, at the preliv not living. Yeah, tidal tide tidal tidal movement a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. So, and, and I also understood, I do not remember exactly about Singapore, but they also had had some problems with, with storms. And they are, you, you also could see, if you will uh, study your images again, you will see that we are trying to expand the islands they are located a little bit. So they are somehow creating a new terrest terrestrial area over the sea. So we just... Uh, um, maybe I can show. Uh, for example, oh, in, the, yeah. in the in the eastern part, you can see um, the new airport, completely constructed like over previously previously. Yeah, here in the right. Yeah. You see, it's right. the airport area. I understand. Yeah, and oh, oh yeah, up in that I understand corner. if you if you will look even before in the past if you could you could you could try 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 to find the sentinel hub for the next time try to find uh the images for these areas before 2000. uh one second um yeah this something new and this and yeah. something uh, they just I uh, want to save islands uh this is something like, yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I believe this, this airport next to it in them. Yes, this, this is. Yeah, I yeah. believe it also, it also is artificial. It looks at it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's really try, try, yeah, try, try to find the satellite image for a year before 2000. Uh, I don't found it. I really try. tried. Uh, try, okay. try, try to look for uh, Landsat 5, for example, images for, for 90s of a year, 1990. Okay. And you will see. And I will see. Not now, but for, for next time, for okay. example. Try, try to find it. 
Okay. It, it might be interesting. I'm not 100% certain, but I believe this airport is also artificial land somehow. Yeah. Not previously, isn't it, just, isn't just to be here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but but um, humans have been have been making things like this for thousands of years. I mean, I know that I don't know the exact story, but I know that there is a a lake in the Italian Alps that did not exist until until they made a huge dam and made a lake so that they could have a big lake up in the mountains. I forget which one that but is. Also, but. also in Holland. In Netherlands. Oh yeah. They created a big, big part of their country. That's it's right. Actually artificial. You know, you know how, how how they say they say that God created an earth, but the whole earth is created by Hollands, by Dutch people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been there. I have seen that. Yes. And the big walls, and then and then they move, you know, another another mile out and then they make another big wall and now they've got all this land so and, uh, yeah did, 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 did you see ships above you yes like yes ship, I love ships it. go ships going in the channel above you yes <laughs> yeah very interesting yeah yeah so human human uh manipulation of the earth is is something that you can also track with our satellite imagery isn't it yeah yeah. And okay. it's really what people do with that. It, it's not uh, very bad because we do it like for us, but um, the most problems like global warming, it's um, what we do. I think uh, people. Um, you know, I killed him. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's uh, you're you're only 14. You're going to be you're going to be dealing with the the after effects of all of this human activity for a very long time for all of your life. So. Yeah, and and it's really sad because uh, not all people think about the future because they live for them and just think don't think about their children or or for somebody children. It's just nothing for them. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But there are also many people who are trying to think yes. nowadays. Yeah. True. Yeah, that's why we work on these things, isn't it? <laughs> so that we can so that we can be ones that don't do that. No. Yeah. Yeah, you've got you've got children and grandchildren and great grandchildren that are gonna be needing a planet that works for them. So Hopefully, hopefully we can all work together and uh, make better science and make better decisions and, and do things that are beneficial for us as humans and for our and, planet. Uh, I prob probably already told at least once, but I believe that uh, environmental problems are so much today in focus on public attention, very much because of satellite images available, because of this availability, because before you only have heard from scientists, scientists that well, there are problems there and there and there, and now we could see with our own eyes, and that's very, that's very different situation in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, look at look at our little group. You know, Is Ismael and Daria both are using images to look at different places all over the world and find information. That's a very yeah. yeah. Very cool thing. We this is not something that has existed for very long. Just Our just ability. just yeah. just like twenty years ago, it wasn't possible. Yeah. Believe you, believe, believe me or not. Yeah. Yeah. It's just very All recent right, development. Should we uh, should we let you get back? Thank you for speaking yeah. so much today. Your English is is good and it's improving. Yeah, I just. Um... With I study English with my teacher, I 
just don't think about my mistakes, but sometimes with a sold a lot, I just can forget something. It really, I really love this uh, experiment. Yeah, that's that's not a problem. If you are not afraid of speaking, then you will do progress. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, I, sure. I'm, I'm glad. I know that the that's one of the things that we really wanted to get out of this program was to make you less afraid to just speak English. And you're doing great. So Thanks. thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right, you two. Well, well, a meeting of one. You had you had all of our <laughs> attention today, Daria. Yeah. Anyway, that's. Uh, I hope I hope we will meet in, in larger group next week. Yeah, I think um, because of all of the turmoil and because of the way things are going, this is going to be more normal. That we will be a little less structured and a little more time for just communication amongst you kids and and to just to just have the time to uh, to learn to communicate and to continue to explore the satellite imagery and how it affects the world and, and how we can see things, but a little less formal. This is, this is nice. So. Yeah. Thank you for showing up. Nice to meet your sister there too. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. so. Thanks. Goodbye. So bye. bye. See you. See you tomorrow. See you, see you tomorrow, uh, not next time. See you tomorrow, Sam also, I hope. Yes. Yeah. You, you, you let me know now. what we want, what you want to do. Okay. So. Good. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye.